uh, okay, I would like to show you different ways of doing this test. So we're setting the uh, power at three milliwatts, okay? And uh, continuous mode. We're gonna start the test. Now in the settings, we put the uh, IR level at 25. The fixation LED is 85%. Detection threshold about I put it to 23 25. It's good. I think 23 uh, Now this threshold is depending on what size the pupil is um, And the aperture you can set it to like uh, Like 10 Okay um, Okay, so let's start the test. Let's see what happens. So I'm just putting in like a an eye underneath all right so okay over here you could see that the tracking is locked and you could see that the UV power is sending at three, three point like three three point two or three milliwatts okay and the total power is being accumulated um, so if I move if the eye is moving so I'm gonna perform like this movement so the tracking it tr keeps tracking so if I move too far away at some point like here see it's paused as you see it's paused that means the power goes off so but if I bring it back in so it's back locked in the power goes on so the tracking is working on the eye okay with those threshold levels now it is the you can if you're having problems with tracking you can go ahead and change this green circle make it larger uh, or or uh, in the settings you can check ch change the threshold bigger or the det detection level you can bring it up or down and also play around with the IR IR value uh, so right now I made the threshold bigger so that means now it's looking for a circle on a bigger uh, area so it's paused locked paused so if you have you can have like a little bit more movement on the eye so, you see now it's paused so the, the eye has moved like halfway out of the circle the green circle and it's locked so I would recommend these settings and, and you know, the doctor can play around with these settings. Now, if you don't care about tracking, then you can go ahead and you can, you can basically, let me see, stop this test. You have to stop it and then select the settings and uncheck the eye tracking uh, active checkbox and start the test. Now, the UV power is going to be on and no matter where the eye is looking at the UV power is going to be it's not going to go off okay and how do I like you can I can show you underneath uh, can you bring it down see over here you can see that the UV is can you see that let me see that you see that UV dot the uh, the UV is on, or I can show it to you on a white, yeah, see that UV is on, or on a white card, let me see, see that UV is on, right? So it's not going to go off, it's not, so it's always going to be on if you uncheck the active eye tracking, okay? So it's always going to be on, okay? Alright, so basically this is what I recommend you to do. So the IR, the IR setting is, it may be important if the IR is too low, you might the, the, the camera may not see the eye. So bring up the IR level. It's not going to affect the, uh, the, the patient's vision because you know the IR is, you don't see the IR. So just bring up the IR 
if you're having tracking problems. Like for, in, for instance, I could show you that if I put active and I lower the IR to the lowest, lowest setting at 5, start, let me see if I have problems here. Put the eye in there. Paused. Okay, so you can see that's paused and locked. It's toggling. If I increase the IR, it just the the camera sees the sees the uh, the eye better.